I got a message for you. I used to be one of those guys in the Bronx. That garbage is literally everything he sees. But after watching what you're about to see, I stopped garbaging and started recycling. Let's check it out. I'm from the Bronx. My name is Abuno Isaac, and I'm from the Earth. Okay. Everything is garbage. Oh my god, almost everything here is recyclable. I have to check the containers to see which one is trash. Recycle, that's wrong. Recycle, that's wrong. Trash is very small. In the bronze, everything is trash. Let me fix their mistake. Now everything is trash. That's exactly how the bronze looks like. Trash. Trash? What is this blasphemy? You need to learn some facts. What is fact? 75% of what we consume, that's recyclable. That's why we need two bins for recycling. Let's go. I'll teach you some of the facts so you can fix your behavior. Nice. This is trash. 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 Pineapples. Trash. Plastic. Trash. Plastic again? Trash. Rope? Trash. Cardboard? Trash. This is trash. Okay. No, no, no. This is made of plastic, right? Plastic is recyclable. So you put it in the recycling bin. Put it in the recycling bin. Okay, done. Okay. Oh, this. Trash. <laughs> Pineapples, trash. Nice. Wow. Plastic, trash. I, I, I just said what? these plastics are recyclable. It's a big deal. Recycle and trash are the same thing in the Bronx. Well, the deal is when you put things in the trash, they go on the landfill. Sometimes they burn the landfill. That releases harmful carbon dioxide in the air, which catches heat, causing more global warming. And landfills around the world poisoning fish and entire ecosystems. So that's how it harms the economy. Because fishermen in rural areas will have nothing to eat. I do to save the earth. Well, first of all, you can stop using, uh, you can just learn how to recycle like this. And second of all, you can stop using cars and all that and start using bikes like I do. And four. Done. Wow. How many items do we have in total? Sixteen. All right. How many items were in the trash? Um, four. And how many items were in the recycling bin? Um, twelve. Good. And so, what percent of the trash was there in? Uh, what percent of trash? Yeah, yeah. What percent of trash there was in? Um, okay, so let me break out some math. The second degree Hamiltonian operator what of the, the first frick? degree. Oh, 24%. Oh, get your math right. You did a really bad mistake. 25%. What, what, what? So using that, can you calculate how much was in the recycling bin? Okay, I got this. Oh, okay, 25. Okay, so the second degree Hamiltonian operator of the first degree interval of the second degree divergence of the third degree curl. Oh, 76%. Oh, God damn it. 75. Please, just get your math right. No now. matter about your math skills, thank you for learning how to recycle. Honestly, surprised that somebody from the Bronx could learn this. 
Oh, what part of the Bronx are you from? I'm not from the Bronx. I'm from the Oak. And that's the moment I realized why recycling is so important. Folks, here's what I learned. Our time on this earth is finite. That means if we're gonna garbage something, we better do it sustainably so that the people of the future can enjoy the same earth that we do. So next time, don't garbage, don't trash, recycle.